Raccoons on the loose. Hi. The first time we brought them outside, they couldn't believe it. They were hopping around, running all different directions. That's their little three pack. Mabel was the leader of the pack. Well, friends, something great just happened. Someone just brought me a baby raccoon to nurse and take care of. Hi. Mabel came to me because I work at an animal hospital and someone had a baby raccoon stuck in their ceiling. All the wildlife rescues around here were super full at that time. So I said I would take her on. I was excited and a little terrified because I had never fostered a raccoon, but she actually bonded to me very quickly. He's sucking on my hand. I don't know why. <laughs> but I was a little nervous. I knew that a raccoon shouldn't grow up without other raccoons because they need that play to develop their instincts. We just brought home Two more baby raccoons to raise with Mabel. Mabel, look! And so that's yeah. where Leroy and Willow came in. Hi, Willow. She was so happy to have some companions. Once Willow and Leroy came, she kind of took on the leader role because she had already known me and she was more comfortable with me. Oh, you're just gonna crawl on me? Well, no, you can't all climb on me. Mabel really brought out their personalities. You guys are wild. You know, you could pick different spots of the cage so you don't step on each other. They were getting bigger and messier. We started taking them outside once they became a little too wild to stay in my spare bedroom. <laughs> you guys being raccoons? They definitely got bigger, became a bit more wild, which is a good thing. But one morning I walked out to give them breakfast. So I just woke up to quite a surprise. The raccoons dug their way out last night and they're gone and I just don't know what to do about that. They weren't supposed to be released yet so I was pretty nervous that they wouldn't be okay by themselves. The rescue said don't worry they'll probably come home when they get hungry. Mabel's home. Leroy just came back. Hi baby. Oh, I'm so happy. Got them home, put them back in the enclosure. We had fixed the hole. We thought everything was fine. And then I'd say within three days, they were gone again. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> the second time I was like, okay, this is what they're gonna do. Adam made them a little trap door back there so they can come and go as they please. We just kind of left the enclosure open. They were figuring out how to be little grown up raccoons. But Mabel would always just come home on her own because she knew our yard and she missed me. <laughs> and she would show up at the back door like, I'm home. <laughs> it makes me so happy. It makes me feel like I did a good job raising the... So that worked out really well. They continued coming home every day before she went into hibernation. After she came out of hibernation, she would come home whenever she wanted to get snacks. She started getting chubbier. I remember asking other people, do you think she could be pregnant? Mabel came back to my enclosure and had three babies. Hi, those are babies. I honestly was so shocked. I couldn't believe it. I didn't know if she would know how to be a mother. I was just super nervous she wouldn't know what to do, but the instinct just came to her naturally and she was a really good mom. I have a video camera in my raccoon enclosure. I was checking it all the time. So I would be at work checking my phone to see what she was doing. It was really nice. The main thing with raccoons is they're not gonna stay anywhere too long. So she was there for a full week. And then one day I was checking the camera and I saw her moving the babies out of the enclosure. And I was like, no, my uh, 24 surveillance is over. So I had to wait a couple months, but then the baby did start following her back to my house. So now I have Mabel and Daisy who are still together a year later. It really fills my heart to know that they have a little safe spot that they can go to when they need it. 